Hi everyone. Myself, I'm Praveen, and I write my blogs on ExchangeDictionary.com. Today, in this video, I will be discussing about how can we create exchange certificate and how can we complete a printing exchange certificate. So before I start, uh, I'll just explain you. I have two servers, one DC and one exchange, and I have shut down the third server. We, because that we are not going to use it on this let's log into the exchange uh, admin center use uh, an admin account which has privilege to deal with exchange certificate ensure that you're using the right account before we proceed so as you can see in the exchange admin center we have mailboxes, we groups, and so on. And uh, navigate to the the server onto the left pane. Okay, so I will be uh, completing my exchange certificate using an enterprise CA. So I'll keep that logged in so that we don't waste time when we try to complete the exchange certificate. navigate on the tabs and our certificate should include the URLs that we decided to publish each services or the virtual directories that's in the exchange for example auto discover exchange control panel exchange web services offline address book outlook web app etc etc I only have one server so here the three default exchange certificate that you can see which is all created during the installation so now we'll create on a new exchange certificate and let's give a friendly name a display name and then click next I will be using uh, mail.condessor.com as my primary CN and with lesser SANS, SAN URLs, you are allowed to enter any number of SANS. So let's go and pick up the server for which we are trying to create a certificate request, an exchange certificate request. In this window you will be identifying the URLs that you are going to request for the exchange mail.condressor.com I'll be keeping the exchange certificate FQDN these URLs will be according to your design do your own approach to decide what URL you will be publishing each services in intranet as well as in internet Exchange Active Sync. I will be using mail.condessor.com as my published URL. In case if I access locally, I will be using my Exchange FQDN. And for auto discover, I will have to have the local as well as the internet domain. So for which I have autodiscover.exchange.local as well as autodiscover.condressor.com 
included in the certificate so I am not interested to publish my pub as well as IMAP so I would rather remove both the names from the request outlook anywhere I will keep using the same domain name so I think uh, we have finished entered click next to move further so now we can see what all certificate or what all sub subject alternative names that you need in your certificate that you're going to request so the one that you feel that it does not require you can go ahead and remove it so i'll be removing both top level domains contestor.com and the ed exchange.local the domain wide urls now it's time for you to input the organization names mention the details correctly over here this will be part of your certificate information time for you to save the certificate to a shared directory to keep you informed you will have to create a share either on local or somewhere else because you cannot browse the directory to save the certificate so ensure that you have a directory created to save the certificate request Click on finish. As you click finish, the CSR, the certificate signing request that we created, now will have a status of pending request. So that means a new certificate signing request has been created for submission and We will have to now request for a certificate from a certificate authority. I will use my enterprise CA to complete my CSR request. Open the created REQ file. This is the encrypted format of the certificate. Which will be submitted to the CA. Just copy and paste it. And remove any additional space if it is there and select the web server you might not be using all this because you will be submitting your certificate signing request to an enterprise uh, pardon me to a third party certificate authority like tgcert entrust godaddy many in fact are there so now i have requested for the certificate it will be available for download now so let's download the certificate and then we can complete the pending request on exchange server so let's save it to the same directory it will have an extension of ceer Now go back to the exchange admin center and click on the certificate signing request for which we have requested the certificate and click on complete and pick up the UNC name. This is the complete 
UNC path for the certificate. Enter it there and click OK. There is an error. Let's see what is that. I think there's a space at the start of it. Yes. Okay. So the certificate has been imported or the pending request has been completed successfully and you can see the certificate val valid until 2015. So now the certificate is ready but uh, you can see that there is no services assigned to it. So the final step is for you to assign the services to the new exchange certificates. Before we proceed let's log into the exchange server and see the status of the exchange certificate from the PowerShell. There are three before we create the exchange certificate and now we can see there are four and the top the first one is the newly created certificate and there is no services associated with it. You can either assign the, uh, the services from the PowerShell or from the wizard. So I choose to do it from the wizard. So you can see the details of the certificate on the general tab and we will be navigating to the services tab on the left for assigning the required services. So I will use it for IAS. So the newly created certificate has been now successfully assigned to the service IAS. Let's verify it once again. So you can see the letter W which means the certificate is now successfully assigned and enabled for the IAS service. That's all. From my side on this video, thank you for watching, have a great day.